Hello, everyone, and thank you again for joining us for the Cause of the Week Lunch and Learn. My name is Christy Kennel, an Associate Director for the Combined Federal Campaign. And this week, we are highlighting housing and shelter. So, home offers a safe harbor from the elements, a place to rest and a place to share a hot meal with friends and family. CFC charities supporting housing and shelter help create long-term housing for communities and families in need. Today, we are sharing a few videos and a few interviews um, from charitable organizations who focus on this great cause. Schneider House of Hope, an affiliate of Family Promise. At IHN's Schneider House of Hope, we provide temporary housing for families with children. Many volunteers help us complete our mission and build into our guests' lives. We strive to make a difference in each child's life through various services. A safe, warm room, facilities for laundry, and healthy meals help our families on the road to recovery. Our mission is to provide shelter and meals with compassion and acceptance, providing help, hope, and a safe haven for our guests while they seek employment and housing. Thank you for giving. Every gift, large or small, makes a difference. Hello, my name is Stacey Marziato and I am the Associate Director for the Combined Federal Campaign. Joining us today is Program Manager Sydney Hartner from Food for the Poor, located in Coconut Creek, Florida. Welcome, Sydney. Sydney, uh, would you like to tell us more about the services and, and how your organization got started? Absolutely. Thank you, Stacey. It's great to be here today. Food for the Poor, CFC number 10328, started in the country of Jamaica, serving those in great need by providing rice and beans to hungry families. Since then, we have grown into a large international relief and development organization, serving primarily in 17 countries in Latin America and the Caribbean. While there's poverty right here in our own backyards, and there are so many amazing charities doing work to alleviate that here domestically, including food for the poor, in times of domestic disaster. Poverty in the developing world and in countries like Jamaica, Haiti, and Nicaragua is unlike anything we see here in the United States. I always like to say that we are food for the poor and so much more. For while we do provide food for hundreds of thousands of hungry bellies, we have now expanded into a ministry that provides emergency and relief disaster assistance, housing, clean water, medicine, educational materials, support for orphaned and abandoned children, skills training, and micro enterprise assistance for income generating projects that help break the vicious cycle of poverty. Food for the poor and so much more. I, I just love that. Um, what has been the impact of the CFC to your mission? The CFC is such a wonderful program that supports so many amazing charities doing important work. Your contributions through the CFC really do make a huge difference and have helped transform thousands of lives in Latin America and the Caribbean over the years. I am always especially moved by gifts that come through the CFC as people in federal service who are already serving their communities and their country continue to give even more through this program to help make the world a better place. Wonderful. Can you tell our federal employees just a little bit more about your organization? Absolutely. Um, as I shared, Food for the Poor is doing much to transform communities. For the purpose of today's discussions, we've been asked to share more about our housing programs. Since our inception almost 40 years ago, Food for the Poor has built thousands of homes for families in need. In Haiti, in particular, our organization has built over 10,000 homes since the 2010 earthquake. Millions of poor families throughout the Caribbean and Latin America are living in hazardous living conditions with no running water, electricity, or even so much as a locking front door. Instead of a solid, safe home where children can sleep peacefully, they live in crudely pieced together huts made of tin, scrap metal, cardboard, or any other discarded materials they can find. But there's great hope. For just $9,800, Food for the Poor is able to build a solid home for a family living in unsafe conditions. The home is two bedrooms with sanitation, a water component, a living area, cooking area, sink, 
furnishings, lighting, and structural elements to withstand severe weather conditions. One of my favorite things about Food for the Poor's housing program is that whenever possible, we employ contractors and builders in the countries we serve, supporting the local economy and providing jobs for people desperate to provide for their families. For families who have only known the fear and suffering that com comes from living in a makeshift shack, these homes are an absolutely life-changing gift and represent a fresh start. Really inspiring. Uh, would you like to share a short story about how your organization has helped the recipient? Sure, thank you. In 2016, I traveled to Haiti um, with some of our fantastic donors and visited a community on a mission trip. The donors had just funded the building of more than 20 homes in this community, and we just fell in love with the families there. Just a few weeks after we left, Hurricane Matthew tore through Haiti. In the days that followed the storm, we learned that the people in the surrounding communities who were still living in shacks and shanties had had their homes destroyed by the storm and some tragically lost their lives. The families in the Food for the Poor homes survived with minimal damage to their houses and that Food for the Poor was able to repair them quickly. Additionally, the people who had received homes invited their neighbors who had not yet received a new home into their safe and secure shelter to wait out the storm. With a gift of a home, lives were saved, hope was restored, and people were able to do something really special, reach out and offer a helping hand. It's our turn to reach out. Thank you for supporting so many amazing charities through the Combined Federal Campaign. It's been such a pleasure to share more about Food for the Poor and our mission. We are CFC number 10328. Thank you, Sydney, for providing such an insight into Food for the Poor, and we just thank you for your time and for your information. Thank you all. Stay safe. They don't complain. They don't ask why, or why now, or why me. They simply go when called to serve and protect our country. They don't know when they'll return, or even if they will. And when they do return, they often face difficult challenges and unexpected obstacles. These men and women are America's true heroes, many of whom have a basic need, a place to live, a place to call home. With faith in God and determined action, Operation Finally Home answers this need. Woo! Homes that are mortgage free, Homes that are built by communities who care. Homes that show America remembers and honors their sacrifices for our country. But we do more than build homes. We give thousands of Americans a simple way to express their gratitude and show their appreciation to our country's heroes. Visit OperationFinallyHome.org to find out how you can help create a home for our military heroes. A home is built on a foundation, a foundation that provides the potential for a better future. And in the U.S., one in 16 children under the age of six have experienced homelessness. You can help provide stability to those in need by donating to a CFC charity supporting housing and shelter at GiveCFC.org. Thank you to all the organizations who were able to share with us today. We are grateful for the work that you do within our communities.